Here are 11 crazy construction discoveries. I guarantee you'll dig this list, and number two will unearth your fascination. Number 11, sick. Can you imagine stopping a colossal construction project all because someone finds a rare spider hanging out where you're constructing? Well, that's what happened in Texas a few years back when workers discovered a bracken bat cave mesh weaver while working. And that was only the second time ever that the spider had been seen. What you see in this picture is a spider in the same genus of the bracken as there aren't many pictures of the rare arachnid. The first time was in 1980, and it was actually just down the way from the construction site. That was the last time it was seen again for over 30 years until construction workers found it. The project had plans to move forward, but cautiously, so as not to disturb the spiders and the area they've decided to call home. And scientists are very confident that they will find more of the mesh weavers in the area considering the only two ever seen were in proximity to each other. According to reports, residents in the surrounding area are extremely happy for the stall considering it puts off the building of the major highway for the foreseeable future, if not forever. Number 10, the Native American woman. When archeologists came across some human teeth while conducting a routine archeological sweep before some construction, as pictured here, they didn't think much of them. Teeth, human teeth. It wasn't until they stumbled across a toe that they traced through some excellent detective work to a foot and then a leg and so on and so forth. They ended up with the whole skeleton in the end and determined that they were the remains of those of a Native American woman that lived some 2,000 years ago. The remains were found buried beneath a pretty main road in Florida and only five feet beneath the surface as seen in this picture. She is believed to be a member of the Tequesta tribe and they determined her to be no older than 30 and concluded that she probably fell to some disease as there was no evidence of foul play. She was found as they attempted to dig a trench on Pine Island Road to put in a new water main. The find halted construction for three weeks as archeologists removed the skeleton to study. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified of new videos and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number nine foundations of a mansion. Whoa, this one is just a little bit creepy. So back in 2013, archaeologists found the foundation of a medieval mansion on a construction site in Wellington, Somerset in the UK as you can see in this picture. The strange thing about this particular find is that the mansion itself had been stripped of all of its materials. Literally everything was gone except for the foundation. It also didn't exist at least according to records it didn't, because there was no trace of it to be found anywhere. Wellington Somerset is a tiny agricultural community located in Southwest England, and archeologists were very surprised yet happy when they found the site before the building of a housing development on the land. The mansion was not just one, but a series of stone buildings, and they dated back to between the 12th and the 14th century. The find was called significant due to the lack of records, and it proves that there was some sort of settlement on the land back in medieval times. Number eight, big old tusk. This cool find happened in February 2014 on a construction site for an apartment building in Seattle, as you can see in this picture. And it was quickly named as the most complete as well as the largest mammoth tusk ever found in Seattle. It was found in the South Lake Union area and was eight and a half feet long. That's a huge tusk. It was eventually named Lulu, the Lucky Lake Union Mammoth. After a naming contest combined two of its finalists and came up with that lame mouthful. It's believed to be somewhere between 20 and 60,000 years old. As of the last record, it was unknown whether the tusk belonged to a male or a female mammoth. As of 2016, it was undergoing conservation behind closed doors at the Burke Museum in Seattle, pictured here. Scientists and archeologists alike hope that the finding of the tusk provides them the rare opportunity to learn and study more about the prehistoric era of the Seattle area. Number seven. Time Capsule. A long, long time ago, in 1960, Western High School in Parma, Michigan had its first year of students after it was built in 1959. To commemorate the school and the first school year in 1960, a time capsule was filled with a bunch of school memorabilia and it was buried with the hope that it would be opened in 2009 during a celebration for the school's 50th year. 
Well, it wasn't until planning for the 50 year anniversary began that those involved discovered that nobody remembered where the time capsule was. Back in 1960, they had placed the time capsule in the cornerstone of the building as pictured here, and it had been left there untouched for years. But in 2004, a construction project that added to the front of the school removed the cornerstone, and that had people more than worried. But then the cornerstone was found in a pile of cinder blocks, and all was right with the world. The capsule was opened, and the people were underwhelmed. Number six, da na na, da na na, game court. Well, isn't this just the perfect little work of fate? Prior to constructing a basketball court in Yucatan for West Technological University, UTP, archaeologists discovered a pre-Hispanic ball court used in later years for the ball game ritual. Pictured here is one of the 26 different known ball courts as of 2014, and was the first ever to be discovered while preparing to build another sports court. The principal at UTP, Rosanna Rodriguez, said that they chose a grassy area at the foot of a hill for the site of their new basketball court, which just so happens to be the same exact spot that the Mayans wanted for their ball court. According to the way that time works, the Mayans had the upper hand here, and their court won as you can see in this picture. The Mayans were well known for their games, which for the most part were ritualistic in nature, but tended to be a little beheady. This game was played by trying to throw a ball through stone rings on the walls, like what's pictured here, and whoever could, won. Later, when the classical era came around, the games were used as rituals for human sacrifice. Classic Mayans. Number five, Hidden Hospital. I don't know whether this one is sketchy and probably haunted, or kinda cool, but still haunted. Apple, like the massive tech company Apple, discovered a pretty exciting thing when they began renovating a building called Tio Pepe in Puerto del Sol. Ruins from a 15th century hospital, as seen in this picture. A hospital that was demolished in 1854. Not long before the Apple store began its construction, a 15th century church was discovered next door when a light rail station was being built in 2009. Instead of letting Apple do whatever they want with the ruins, the city decided to mandate that they construct over the historical location. Apple was forced to first cover the ruins and then build their store so they're protected. The store also has an outline on its floor where the ruin walls run beneath the store's floor. Number four, bombs away! How freaky would it be to be working on a project like using dangerous and powerful construction equipment and then you stumble upon a giant undetonated bomb. Yeah, well that happened in Belgrade in Siberia back in 2013 and it caused a decent little kerfuffle. Construction workers found the explosive you see in this picture 20 feet deep as they were excavating and as soon as they saw it, they had the entire site evacuated. Food for thought, is a picture of an explosive considered a photo bomb? The workers called in specialists who removed the bomb and informed the city that what you see in this picture was a massive German plane bomb that had been flown during the Second World War. It weighed over a ton and was taken to a military training ground in northern Siberia to be destroyed. And the Prime Minister of Serbia even made the comment that if the bomb had somehow gone off at any point, it probably would have destroyed the whole area of Durkol. I don't think he was being bombastic. Number three, ruins transformed. Located in Cusco, Peru, the JW Marriott pictured here sits where the 16th century St. Augustine Covenant once sat. The Covenant was in complete ruin when the hotel began its construction in 2006, but the hotel manages to incorporate some of the old structures in its design. Throughout the common areas of the hotel, one can find sections of the old chapel, as you can see in this picture. And the hotel's restaurant, Pirka, has an entire back wall that was once the Covenant's sidewall, seen in this picture. Pre-Incan tools, jars, pots, and giant sculpted boulders were found alongside the ruins, and the hotel decided to change their plan of building 200 rooms, instead only making 153 to protect the archaeological finds. Various rooms have pieces or entire ancient walls built in, and they definitely add to the ambiance. The hotel's architecture is entirely modern, despite featuring such amazing pieces of history. 
Number two. Oh, diamonds. Wouldn't it be lovely to find a bunch of diamonds? And wouldn't it be even lovelier if you found them on your property? A man named Tim Jones from Fresno, California bought a store that used to be a jewelry store and he decided the place needed some renovations so he hired a construction company to do some for him. While on the job, a construction worker stumbled across a stash of diamonds hidden behind some shelves. The prior owner of the store had passed away six years before the diamond discovery and the family had decided to sell. Now, after the news of the discovery has made its rounds, the deceased daughter is attempting to claim the diamonds for herself. However, that will be left up to the courts to decide. Number one, dangerous. In April 2018, thousands of people in Berlin were evacuated from a one square mile area after a giant bomb pictured here from the Second World War was found during construction. The bomb weighed in at 1,100 pounds and was discovered while workers were working in the center of Berlin in proximity to major tourist sites, government buildings, and the city's main train station. The 70-year-old bomb pictured here is thought to be one dropped from a British plane in the 1940s, and it's estimated that 12,000 people had to evacuate due to this pesky bugger. Oh, and it was safely diffused. Stick to making fish and chips, British. JK, love you. Board Badger.